Here's the wooden box that it comes in. It has a neodymium magnet clasp on it. Hold it shut. There's plenty of room in here for the track. And um, the batteries. And the wall wart, in my case, my little above ground oil tank, and of course, the vehicles in their container. There's the inside of the battery pack, and this also came with. Um, a wall wart power supply for more sustained operation. And the back side of this it just has the uh, little controller chip, some surface mount parts. I think these three things are the drivers. And there's something bigger there, maybe it's a voltage regulator, I'm not sure. But you can kind of see, there we go, all the different coils trying to get a good view of the linear motor coils which are all just foils on the circuit board those red and green jumpers appear to be the way it's a single sided board I think I'm not I don't remember seeing any foils on the top side um, and I think that's how they're getting the the power from the power jack there over to the uh, the circuits in the middle and uh, one side of the power goes all the way around the outside and then comes back to there to get over to the middle and the same company uh, makes uh, much larger track arrangements this is their smallest track that I'm aware of When not in use, the locomotive and the cars reside on this magnetic piece of steel inside its little um, vehicle container. I decided to try to doctor up the appearance of the railroad loop by putting a little simple graphic uh, insert or inlay or whatever you want to call it, overlay I guess. Um, I didn't really have any graphics program on my computer that allowed freeform graphics. I had a number of things that would do nice regular graphics, but um, you know, for control panels and so on. But so um, I decided to try the Affinity Designer, which is a newer offering from the Serif uh, company in England that um, I have used so many uh, major applications from in the past. And they used to have what they called Draw Plus, I believe, which was uh, their drawing program within that older series. And now it's the Affinity series. It was about $25. Downloaded it, installed it, and I'm kind of learning on the go here, just doing very basic stuff. So I made a, a layout to match the, the track. I have to cut it out to fit. I want to have some sort of a hill or something in the middle to cover up the LEDs and um, so I left a cutout area there and then I made a big swatch of color the same color as the the landscape green there which I can cut out into various shapes freehand and try to decide what I want to do with that
So for sense of scale, here's a typical Bic pen. And my set is running off of its pack of four AA batteries. We have a steam locomotive roughly one thousandth scale and three cars of roughly the same scale. Of course they're not supposed to be any particular car so scale is kind of iffy in that regard. So I basically doctored this up. Uh, the train just has this shiny black surface with the tracks silk screened onto it and uh, nothing in the middle so to make it look a little bit more like a train layout I have the uh, hastily conceived and executed graphics for a tiny town with a highway going across, a little river, a little lake, some trees around it and to cover up the kind of annoying LED sparklies in the middle. I've got the town's big oil tank that dominates the town's landscape. To the best of my knowledge, there's no speed control on here, although it does soft start when it starts up and then picks up to this speed. This is just a uh, copper pipe cap from some half inch um, copper water pipe that I hastily hacked out with a uh, saw to make it a bit shorter. I was just in desperation trying to come up with something that would cover those LEDs. We've got to pile up 